The third season of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous lands on Netflix on May the 21st, and courtesy of DreamWorks Animations and Universal Pictures, we've been able to bring you a non-spoiler review ahead of the series' debut. Let's jump into my thoughts on the third season of the show. I'm happy to report that the third season addresses some elements of the second season which had me apprehensive, taking the time to explore some additional lore elements, and also the place of Camp Cretaceous within the wider Jurassic universe. We also get a story here which feels much more mature and grounded, allowing us to explore a new series which feels more authentic to what we have come to know and expect from Jurassic as a brand. The third season takes the opportunity to explore areas which we may have already been familiar with, while adding some extra depth and context to them, changing the way that we perceive some of the sequences which unfold in the Jurassic World saga more broadly. Great care is taken to pay attention to the b broader implications of this story, with effort put in to find ways that this story can connect with the wider canon in meaningful and crucially engaging ways. There's a couple of small elements here which still go against pre-existing lore, but overall the story works incredibly well and feels like a return to the more grounded adventures of the first season. We also get to see some fantastic growth for the characters in this season, with emotional topics like personal identity explored throughout the season. The campers are put in some intense situations throughout, and this really allows the writing and the voice acting to shine throughout the story. Combine this with the fact that the character models have actually been updated for season 3, reflecting the passage of time too, and you get to see the characters grow and expand in ways which we haven't seen throughout season 1 and season 2. Alongside character growth, we get a great growth in the variety of dinosaurs here too, including the Dimorphodon from Jurassic World, who gets some fun sequences reminding us why aerial animals are so terrifying. An assortment of familiar carnivores and herbivores return, but we also get a few surprises here to keep the show engaging and exciting. Whilst these additions don't always make the most sense, they are fun nonetheless and add some great depth to the show. The great variety of dinosaurs are also complemented by a great variety of locations, both new and familiar. Many of these locations are introduced in different weathers and at different times of the day, adding even more diversity to the settings across the island. Some locations featured also lean more into nostalgia, which is something which I think adult fans in particular will appreciate. In summary, Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous delighted me. It felt more grounded and had plenty of nods and callbacks which I found left me with a huge smile on my face. This series strengthens where the show sits in the wider Jurassic universe, and it has something which I think every fan of Jurassic will enjoy. I genuinely cannot wait for you to get to experience this show. Thanks for checking out our non-spoiler review. Stay tuned here on the Jurassic Park podcast for plenty more Camp Cretaceous content once the show releases on May the 21st.